last of the shoe that I've been working on. And now we're putting on the weld. So I have this contraption here. It's called an inseaming stand. And it's made by Thornapple River Boots. I don't know if he still makes them, but it's very cool. It's got this little peg goes in the hole of your last, and there's interchangeable ones for different sizes. It flexes. It's built hell for stout, so you pound on it. This guy here supports it, and he goes up and down, or in and out, so it's perfectly adjustable to whatever thing you're working on. It's very cool. So I wanted to do a video blasting this shoe, but it didn't come together. So um, we're jumping ahead to this next step. And I'm just gonna make a few stitches and let you watch how the work goes or doesn't go as the case may be. to not resort to the pliers if we uh, can get away with it, but sometimes it's just too much trouble and it's easier and faster to pick up a pair of pliers. hole was a little smaller. I'm going to resort to the pliers. I'm going to pull these tacks as I go along. It's a little close. You can't pass both needles through that hole, it's too small, but if you pull the thread out of the way, then you can usually get that second one in. That hole is a little bigger. Cut of a nail. I'll do it. It is sometimes difficult to get that needle to go through there. So there's several layers of leather and your needle's catching on anything that's a little bit out of alignment. So if you do a good job and make sure everything's smooth, hopefully we look really cool and it just pops right through. Sometimes it does not, and you can help it along maybe by sticking the awl in there and straightening it back out again.
So there's a lot of things to get your threads caught up on. You're caught up under your pant leg, you're caught up under the knobs and your stitching post here. Um, so I try to keep them organized and draped over my legs. I hold the needles between my first and second fingers, they all in the palm of my hand. Take the stitch. Watching how this thread lays over my leg so I don't get caught up again in my trousers. There's nails here that are going to catch this guy as he goes across, so I might pick that up and guide that over. too deep so when you kind of messed up so you can come back to this side and give a little poke in there to help you come out where you want to come out So as you go around the toe, you've got outside of your circle and you've got the inside of your circle and you're keeping your quarter inch spacing and obviously the inside of the circle is a little bit smaller. So your holes are gonna start getting closer and closer together. And this nice space, this nice chunk of leather here that's holding the stitching on the hold fast is going to get smaller and smaller so you can easily rip through your hold fast as you come around this toe especially in this pointy part right up here so we use a little bit of cord this is hemp sane twine which is a thing out of the boating world i'm a old wood boat guy um, so i have a bunch of this any big ass cord is going to do and let's show how we put that in. Go under there and give myself a little bit of a tail. We'll cut that off later. Nail's messing with me. He may come out. I think he should. Goodbye, Mr. Nail. Over it up here, pick up the pieces. So I'm going to want this to go over the thread. No, I'm going to want the thread to go over the piece of cord. I'm going to put it underneath like that. So when I take this stitch, the cord is going to support it. Mess. 
So it loops over there, loops over there, and we're gonna continue that as we go along. So I'll run this little cord around the toe, and I'll run it around the heel as well to reinforce that section. Take a close up of this. So you can see the threads going over the top of that cord there. All right, let's get this job done. All right, this is the last stitch, and we're going to tie this off. So here's our welt.